But right there, I just told you how you can have a website for free, how you can have an email list for free, you can contact your, your fans for free. All it takes is a little bit of time. You're doing all this for free and by yourself, and you're able to engage with your fans directly. You don't have to worry about social media blocking you or promoting you. It should go without saying, but if you don't speak to your fans on a regular basis, then you won't have any. A lot of people know this to be true, but then they don't want to do any of the things necessary in order to make sure that they are doing it. You know, they think, oh, I'm making posts on social media all the time. Okay, that's not speaking with your fans. Oh, well, I'm tagging them. Okay, that's not speaking with your fans either. Like if you're having comments with them, if you're getting a DM, that's positive engagement. But the best way to reach them is direct. You know, because if you rely on social media posts to get your information out to all your fans, then what you're doing is you're actually setting yourself up for 90% of them not to even see your content. Or they may see it too late. For instance, if you have a new song or a new album this year may come out and you're trying to do a big opening day push well if you're trying to do that on social media by putting it out to your fans even tagging a bunch of them you're not going to reach all of them because a lot of people won't see the tags um if you don't tag obviously which i don't recommend tagging i'm just saying hypothetically if you're making these posts out here they're not always going to see it because not everybody's on when you're posting. Not everybody has the same algorithm to where they're going to see a lot of the stuff that you post because they have all these other accounts that they follow and show interest in that the algorithm is showing them in order to engage in. Oh. Sorry, I like nature. That's why I'm out here. In the woods, you can see that's kind of flooded back there. We had a lot of rain here recently, but we're out here in the woods, getting the day started with this awesome sunlight. It's great. But anyway, back to what I was saying about talking with your fans. If you're making a post on social media, they're not guaranteed to see it. However, if you're emailing them, they will see it. And a lot of people will tell me, Yo, Arcos, man, nobody reads email anymore. No, nobody reads email for people they don't want to hear from anymore. That's correct. However, if they're your fans, they want to hear from you. And if you're not trying to sell them shit every time that you're talking to them, they're going to want to hear from you. Okay? And it's very, very simple. You send out an email once a week, and you just engage with your fans about something. Something that you find interesting. And in the email, you talk about something that you find interesting, whether it's one of your hobbies that you're known for or something, maybe you're a political activist or something. Whatever it is that you're known for, whatever is part of your brand as an artist or musician or whatever your situation is. But whatever you're, whatever you're known for, you send out an email about that. In the email, you're giving out information, and then you're also asking them to reply back and have a conversation. Now, when they do that, you need to engage with them for that reply, okay? So, as you grow your email list and you start talking to more and more people via email, you're going to have more and more people that will engage back with you, that will send that reply. And that's what you want. Because the people <clears throat> who will submit to your email address, email list, come on. Dogs are chasing squirrels. But anyway, crazy dogs. But anyway, the people who see you on social media and will actually give you their email address for you to send them weekly newsletters, right? And the, the term newsletter has actually been overused and perverted. But it is what it is. I mean, you're sending out an email every week, right? You send out a weekly email telling people something that has to do with you. Anyway, if you have people that want 
to give you your their email address not just for your newsletter but also in exchange for something else something that they find valuable from you then those people are going to be more than likely to read it all right so your open rate is going to be good because you got people that are on there voluntarily they want to hear from you and they're opening and they're reading now when you have that small percentage of people who will actually reply back now that increases the standard or the standing that your email address has within the email service providers because I can't remember what the number was. I think it was close to like 90% of all email is outbound, right? Which means that like people are just 90% of people's emails that they get are just stuff coming in. They read it and then they leave. They don't reply back, right? But if you're engaging with your fans to reply back now, your email address is ranked higher. So it won't accidentally go to spam. It won't go into a hidden folder or whatever right and you'll actually be able to have a higher open rate higher close rate with other sales and stuff like that right one second all right sorry about that i'm back i uh there's a lot of sticks and shit like that in the road well in the trail so and we had to go around it without me getting my dogs tangled up but anyway when you're sending out these emails to people and they're opening them and they're replying back. You're getting in good standing with the email service providers, so you're not going to spam. But then you're also increasing the engagement with your fans and the communication. And that's key to building super fans. Because those same people that will reply back and engage with you in conversation and email, those are the same people that are going to buy your product or your, your, your project. They're going to... I mean, if you got any product, like merchandise or anything like that, they're going to be more likely to do that. If you get any uh, brand deals or affiliate partnerships or something like that, they're going to be more than likely to engage with that. And all these things are going to help to grow you as an artist, not just in your fan base, but also to helping you be self-sustaining with your music to where you're not just dumping hundreds or thousands of dollars into it every month or every quarter or whatever amount you're putting in at whatever rate all that money that you're putting in is actually going to be coming back to you and you're going to be able to live a lifestyle that you want you know a lot of people in the music industry a lot of musicians like low level stuff you know when you're getting started you're like man you know yeah making money would be nice but you know i just want to make the music man trying to make money off of it's such a headache and everything like that well it's because you don't know how to do it and that's where people like me come along who you know have learned how to do a lot of things and it's a lot of basic things too um well that's the way i see it at least obviously some of y'all might be like damn that's complex but you know if you look at things from a base level it's very very simple you have the ability to communicate with people we all know that not only will social media have outages, but sometimes the algorithm will change or you'll post things here and there that will devalue you and the algorithm of your fans. And so now your engagement just went down. You know, there's all different kinds of things that could happen. However, if you're engaging with people via email and they're engaging with you and you're building that fandom with them, then you're gonna be able to stay in contact with your fans no matter what, okay? And it's very, very simple to do. You can set up a MailChimp account for free, okay? And you can send out an email every single week to people. Hey, no. You send an email out every single week to people. And as long as you have less than 500 emails, contacts, you can do it for free. And then once you get over 500, it's $13 a month. $13 a month or free to talk with your fans. And see what you do as well. You give them the informational email and then at the bottom, you throw in a pitch. Hey, go stream all my stuff on streaming platforms. Here's the links. Or hey, go to my website right here and you can download my latest project. I believe you for free. 
or hey you know uh this month i'm running a donation option you know i have a donation right here with paypal donate if you'd like to donate i would greatly appreciate it right stuff like that or hey i got this for sale you can put that down at the bottom after you give them the information after you engage with them after you talk with your fans you know and like i said it's free all you gotta do is spend your time to learn how to do it which is very simple and to take the time to actually do it every single week send out one email that's it just one email to all your people and now the way that you gather emails that's multifaceted you could straight up ask your fan base for their emails say hey dm me your emails i want to talk with y'all i'm building a i'm gonna start sending out emails once a week because social media is blacklisting me or whatever whatever angle you want to run with right you can run it from a victim or a victor angle it's up to you you know you can say facebook is blacklisting me or whatever social media is banning me i got the information they don't want to hear or you can say something about hey you know i appreciate every single one of y'all and I know you guys pay attention to a lot of other things on social media, and it doesn't always show you my content, but I wanna make sure that I have the ability to let you know everything about me, uh, what's going on and everything, so you can stay on top of it. Whatever, whatever angle you wanna run with. If you have less than 500 email contacts, you can send that out for free, one email a week on MailChimp, for absolutely for free. So you can be in contact with all your people. You can sit there and you can give them all the information. And then even at the bottom of it, you can say, hey, if you want to support me, go buy my stuff right here. Or, you know, you can donate right here. Or, hey, make sure you go stream my stuff on social media, please. Or, hey, I got a brand new song that's dropping on this day. Um, click right here for a pre-save or something like that, right? Whatever you want to do with your email at the bottom in regards to sales or trying to get them to take an action, that's great. But like I said, you can send that out for free with MailChimp. And then, you know, once you get over 500 emails, then yeah, you can upgrade it to $13 a month. What's that? But then you can have your website, you can have the website up and running absolutely for free every single month. You don't have to worry about paying the $30 a month, especially if you're not getting $30 a month. It's not worth it, right? You can go to Wix and you can build a free website on Wix. Then you can go to your preferred domain purchasing place like GoDaddy or what have you and you can go purchase a domain and then you can do what's called a DNS forwarding and forward that domain from GoDaddy to your free Wix website now you're just paying however much you pay per year you know $20 or whatever it is for your domain through GoDaddy or whoever and then you have that link to your website your website is completely free it doesn't cost you anything to run You've built it yourself, so there's that. And then you can have free options available on your website. You can divert people to your Bandcamp to actually buy stuff because Bandcamp is a situation where you can have uh, your music up for sale and they'll just take a percentage and it costs you nothing a month. That's an option. And just having a Bandcamp alone isn't, isn't gonna do it because you can't do free giveaways and stuff like that. You can't post your a lot of your other content up like you can with a website. So that's why I say go to Wix and get a free website. And then you can have your music up there available for free download. You can get a PayPal donate set up and then you can put a button on there so people can donate via PayPal. There's all different kinds of things that you can do with your website. But the biggest one is get people free stuff, your music or what have you, free download, gather their email address, and then you have that e that your website linked with your MailChimp. So whenever they do that, it tags them. And now you know where that email address came from. Hey, this person downloaded my free stuff. So you can send a different email to people who've downloaded different things than you do to people who've never downloaded anything, but they're on your email list because they gave you your email, right? So you get different levels, right? As they say, there's different levels to this shit. That's exactly how it goes. But right there, I just told you how you can have a website for free, how you can have an email list for free, you can contact your your fans for free. All it takes is a little bit of time. So what your time is what your time is valued to you is your business. You know what I'm saying? But you're doing all this for free and by yourself. 
and you're able to engage with your fans directly. You don't have to worry about social media blocking you or promoting you, right? You do it all yourself. And then you are able to grow your fans from just casual listeners to super fans. And the super fans are where it's at. That's where, that's where you're going to grow more fans from. And then that's where you're going to start getting some, some revenue coming in to help you live that musician's lifestyle that you want where you just make music and engage with your fans and enjoy your life. See what I'm saying? You can do that all yourself, all for free. It's information that I learned just by looking it up myself, just by going on YouTube and finding it out, which is probably where you're watching this right now. And then you can run it all yourself. Now, for whatever reason, your time is more valuable to you, you'd rather pay somebody to do it, hit me up. I'll build your website for you. I'll set up your email marketing for you. I'll run your email marketing for you. It's up to you. Very reasonable prices because this shit is not that difficult. And I'm just here to help people out. That's why I'm putting out these videos to help people out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got services for sale. Yeah, I like money. But at the end of the day, you take my free information I just gave you right there, and you go ahead and you make it happen. You go ahead and get your shit taken care of. And now you have a website. Now you're doing emails to your fan base. I just helped you out. I gave you so much value. Now you're winning. See what I'm saying? Either way, you're winning. Whether you pay me to do it for you or you learn how to do it yourself, you will win. And that's what I'm out here to do. Every time I bring you on one of these videos, every time you go check out an episode of Music Making Sense Podcast, anytime you get on a free initial consultation call with me, I'm giving out information. Obviously on the podcast, it's me and KP, but we're giving out information all the time to help people. And if you want me to do it for you, yeah, you got to fucking pay me. You don't do shit for free. I'll give you information all day. I talk all goddamn day. I talk way too much. I'll talk for free. It's no big deal. You want me to work for you? Pay me. And my shit's reasonable as hell. Hit me up. I can help you out. Other than that, take this information. Run with it. Go do your shit. Get your fucking marketing leveled up. Start growing real fans, not just casual listeners. And start growing as an artist. You know you want to. So go do it. I'll let you later.